Take a walk outside one night and look up and you will see the moon, stars, meteorites. Just look up. You may one day realize that out there is not for us. But it's to remain on this planet, on this earth, and look up to see the beauty of the Creator. But because we don't know if we are truly in heaven, if we are already in heaven, we tend to lead ourselves astray. We were created one way. The life runs through all of us and we are created from that life. We are created onto that lifeline, that lifeline that runs through all of us. We only exist because life exists and we are just a bump or a hologram or a something, something that just popped out of, popped out. We are nothing. We are nothing. We are absolutely nothing. No man is greater than the next. We were created one way. We were created in beauty. We were created in awe. We were created in bliss. But something happened and we thought that the way we cr were created is not good enough. And so we developed our egos. You develop this ego that drives you. Everyone develops an ego. And the ego eventually begin to control us. Instead of we controlling our own ego, it turns around and begin to control us. The reason for this is because we have developed personalities that we begin to protect. We are one way in every situation. And you cannot look in the mirror and see yourself ever going back to the, the, to, to the way you were created. You just cannot go back to the way you were created where there was, there was, there was nothing on your written, on your hard drive, there was nothing in your brain as far as things that 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 you were conditioned to believe no training nothing the only thing you came with is memories from dna that's it that's it but here we go, developing this ego. I'm not saying that we're not supposed to have an ego, but we cannot allow the ego to control us. We create these personalities and we feed it to the ego every day, every day, every day. Every day, we just keep feeding it, keep feeding it. It's like you're creating a monster, just keep feeding it. And then we turn around and try to protect that ego because we created memories with it and it's hard to let it go. So we go out and we expect things to happen. And if things 
does not happen the way we expected it to, we suddenly have a bad day because we cannot go back and adapt to the way we were in creation when we had no personality that we had to protect. And so we start to develop this thing where you now find yourself in a position that you just cannot let go of who you think you are. And as soon as you reach out to let go, the ego has a way to play tricks on you. The ego has a way to scare you to come back. You're losing something and you need this. You need this. Alcohol, prescription drugs, pornography. These things are things that you keep feeding the ego. Wealth. You get so rich, you cannot let go. If tomorrow you go broke, you kill yourself. You cannot go back because the ego has taken on this personality like an like like an avalanche and it grows and grows and grows and totally outgrows you where you become so scared of your own ego you project everything out there happening real bad and you call it the devil and everyone walks around with these devilish behavior and it becomes a devilish world. It becomes hell. It becomes hell. But there's something inside of you that know that is it's it's oh, it's it knows that you're fighting and you're trying to come back. And then you think you hear voices. But it's not voices. It's who you really are but you're fighting against that ego. You're, 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 you're fighting against it, but it's so strong, you cannot walk away from it. You have a nice house, you have a car, you have jewelry, you have all these things. You just cannot let go. You just cannot walk away. Because if you do, everything goes wrong. Or people will look at you a certain way because this is not who you are? Or is it the person you think you're not? If you find yourself cannot walk away from something, anything, or just any conditioning, any persons, anything, you have to look in the mirror and confront yourself. In every situation, in every group of people, you should be able to switch your personality. No one personality should hold on to an individual to the point of which he becomes enslaved by himself, by his own ego. When you can switch personalities without thinking that you're losing something, then you're, actually, you're absolutely where you're supposed to be. The ego is a lie. The ego will take you over. The ego will cause you to go on your knees and become religious. When you find yourself telling yourself that you're right and you're doing the right thing, all the time and cannot and cannot actually say to yourself am I doing the right thing or is my ego doing the right thing 
And when you say to yourself, okay, I got rid of the ego, sometimes it's because the ego wants you to believe that you've gotten rid of it. You have to learn how to play these games with your ego. The ego is the master at everything evil. And at the same time, it's the master of everything, of everything great, of everything that's good. The ego is the master of excellence. The ego is music to your ear. This is why you have to understand poetry and you have to understand music and you have to understand math, simple math. So you can understand the dualism. You can understand this music to your ear when, when the ego is making you feel good. When in reality, the better you feel, it's the better for the ego because you're about to feed into the ego's wants and the ego's needs. And the more you do this, you keep building it and building it and building it. Most of the time you think you're doing the right thing. You have to really check yourself. Most of the time you think you're doing the wrong thing. You have to check yourself. Until you understand there's no right nor wrong. Until you understand that there's a creation and there's a creator. Until you understand that the ego is not you. When you can start questioning yourself, just let go. Just, just, just let go. Just let go. If you can do something that makes you feel happy and you don't have to question anyone, you don't have to answer to anyone, you don't have to say you're, it's, it's something that you're longing for or not longing for or you're doing it just out of bliss, out of joy, out of, out of happiness on a level where the, that decision came from within the true self and not based on any form of conditioning, any form of conditioning whatsoever. And you can switch your personalities at the switch, at the flip of a switch, without feeling that you've lost something or you gain something or you may gain or lose something in a different situation or with a, another group of people, then you're free. You're free. When you know that everything will work out and everything will be okay, you're actually fighting the war against your ego to release it, to release it from the habits. But it's a very long journey and you will fall over. You will get busted. You will trip. You will fall in these ditches and people will criticize you because you're not about to satisfy these people, people's needs anymore. It's not about moving when someone say to move. You should be able to walk away from that and get rid of it. And when, you do, when you're ready to go back, you go back. And if someone is controlling you, you're being an enslaved. Because your ego has placed you in a situation where this is exactly where it wants you to be. Understand that you have to sometimes remove masks, these personalities from around you. You have missed the entire point 
of why you were created and how you were created. And because that wasn't good enough for you, you created this personality and totally tried to outrule the creator. So with our eyes, we look out and look into this world. We go outside at nights, we look into this world and what do we see? Everything we want to see, everything that's feeding into our egos, everything that's feeding into all these needs, all these wants, all these things. When the only thing we should be protecting are our own bodies. This, the creation, not the ego, not the ego. This is why you look up. You can't touch the moon, you can't touch the stars, you can't touch anything. Because that world does not belong to us. This is where we belong, right here. Maybe this is heaven and we've brought hell with us, with the devil, with the devilish behaviors and the evil within ourselves that we have created this thing within us and it's living for us. Look out, my friends, the ego, look out. It's within you and you have to be careful because you're looking somewhere else for Satan himself.